Hi, first graders. It's that time again. Press pause. Go get your literature anthology book. We are in Unit 5, Week 3. Once you have your book, turn to page 202. We are going to read Thomas Edison, Inventor. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to visit the moon? Or what would it be like to be the very first president? Well, a great way to experience adventures is to read about others who have accomplished amazing things. A biography is a true story about someone's life. Biographies tell about famous people or just ordinary people who have done extraordinary things. This week's story's genre is a biography. This week's essential question asks, what inventions do you know about? We're gonna read about a very famous inventor, Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison, Inventor. Written by David Adler. Illustrated by Sarah Snow. Chapter one. Young Tom Edison asked lots of questions. When someone told him, I don't know, Tom had one more question. He asked, why don't you know? He did lots of experiments to find out. Tom watched a goose sit on some eggs. He saw the eggs hatch. He wanted to know what would happen if he sat on eggs. So Tom made a nest. Then he put goose and chicken eggs in the nest. Next, he sat on the eggs and found out. Splat! Young Tom also knew that birds ate worms and birds could fly. What if people ate worms? Tom guessed that they would fly too. So he gave a girl a cup of chopped worms and water. The girl drank it and got sick and she didn't fly. Tom Edison, the boy who asked all those questions and did those unusual experiments, became the man whose inventions changed the world. Tom Edison was born in 1847 in Milan, Ohio. He was the seventh and youngest child of Sam and Nancy Edison. Sam had a lumber mill. Nancy had been a teacher. When Tom had trouble in school, his mother became his teacher at home. Young Tom did many of his experiments in the cellar of his home. He had lots of jars of chemicals. He wanted to keep people from messing with them. To fix the problem, he had an idea. He wrote poison on each jar. He thought that would keep others away. He was right. There were, there were often smoke, strange smells, and loud noises in the Edison home. It all came from the cellar and from young Tom's experiments. Tom needed money to pay for chemicals and other things. As a result, he got a job when he was 12. He sold newspapers and candies on trains. Then, at 15, he began to write, print, and sell his own newspaper for travelers. He named it the Grand Trunk Herald. Tom wrote news of people he met on the train. He also wrote how he felt about work. The more to do, he wrote in his newspaper, the more done. Tom liked to keep busy. Tom kept very busy on the train. He even set up his own lab in the baggage car. As Tom got older, he kept doing great things. There were no telephones at the time. Instead, messages were sent through telegraph wires. They were sent in a code of dots and dashes. Tom learned the code. He got a job sending and reading telegraph messages. He found new ways to use the telegraph. 
Those were some of his first inventions. Chapter three. When Tom grew up, he became an inventor. He invented all kinds of things that helped people. At that time, burning gas lights lit homes and streets. Sometimes smoke from the lights filled a room. Sometimes fire from the lights burned a home down. Tom was sure he could make a better light. So he did experiments with electric light. He had lots of ideas. His notes filled hundreds of notebooks. After more than a year of work, Tom did it. He made a light that was safe to use. The electric light is the light of the future, Tom said, and it will be my light. Edison's light, Edison's lights were big news. People came from all over to see them. Once they saw the Edison lights, they wanted them in their homes. Tom's lights brightened the world. Tom Edison spent his whole life making great things. The things he made helped people everywhere. Okay, first graders, Thomas Edison is considered one of the greatest inventors of all time. He had a lot of bright ideas. Now it's your turn to tell me what's your bright idea. Take a second and think about something that you would like to create. All right, have fun.